Hi, I'm Paul from Outdoor Adventures Team, and I'm here to show you my, my truck. Come on over. Let's start with the tent. This is the Kukunum Sky 3 Tapui tent. Uh, and I have the Illuminized um, Rainfly, and I find it works really well in the desert when it gets really hot. It helps out a lot to kind of drop the temperature that you'd get from the standard rain flight. These are a company called Voodoo, and they allow me to have a tonneau cover so I can kind of secure all my gear underneath while having the rack to support my, my tent up here. Um, really like this setup, it's modular so I can take things off, interchange them if I need to go make a run to, to the hardware store to utilize my racks, I can do that. The tent comes on and off pretty easy. I can do it on my own, um, kind of rolling it up and off on the tailgate. Uh, let's take a look at my kitchen setup. So in here I have an ARB fridge. And this thing is great. For a long time I ran a cooler. It, you know, it works. It's a, it's a great thing to have. Um, it's a tool definitely for camping, but this, this thing has really allowed me when I go out to the desert or areas where it's hard to, to restock on ice because you have to go 100 miles this way or that way. Um, this thing, you know, runs off of power and I've got a dual battery system that I'll show you. Um, I love it. It's great. Now this is powered from a dual battery setup that I have up front and I ran a sub panel back here. It gives me power straight to the fridge. I also have some USB power there if I need it to charge a phone. Let's, let's look at the uh, dual battery system. So I put in two Group 35 Odyssey batteries, um, and I utilize the off-grid engineering setup. Uh, you know, they provide the hardware to mount the batteries, the cabling. Uh, it, it's a great setup. I was really happy with, with the product. This is my auxiliary battery. That's what's running to feed the fridge in the back, as well as, you know, other another power source for any uh, additional things I need to charge. Um, I have running off of the main battery, my, my worn winch, uh, my air compressor, my auxiliary battery mainly takes care of the stuff in the rear. So taking a look at my roof rack setup, um, you know, there are products out there that are probably better than this. They're more permanent. Um, again, just like with my rooftop tent, I want to be able to take things off and on, put them on easy with some kind of ease. Uh, this allows me to do that. It's just, you know, the, the Yakima brand um, that's tried and true. They've been around for a long time. It works really well for me. I created these brackets here to hold uh, these storm cases. And I wanted to have kind of a low profile setup with those to, to reduce the wind resistance. And um, it's a real simple setup. I use some Simpson strong tie brackets that I picked up from the hardware store, um, some aluminum bars to, uh, to support the box, and it works really well. I'm, I'm really happy to have this setup. I also have my Max tracks mounted in the center. Um, this is a great spot for them. It, you know, if they're dirty, I don't care if they're up on the roof, it's not a big deal, but it's also really easy to get to them. I can step up on my tonneau cover and uh, lock or unlock them and pull them off. I'm a backpacker, so I like lightweight stuff. Not that I would ever bring a, a chair backpacking, but I can really appreciate the quality of the Helinox brand, the quality as well as the packability and, and weight. Um, these things pack up to, you know, yeah, around yay big, um, and they're, they're durable, they're great. I'm a big fan. I've been using the Rubbermaid Action Packers for quite a while. Uh, I know they're they're a bit more expensive than some of the other plastic containers that you can buy at the hardware store, but I was sold on them when I've seen people stand on them and kind of throw them around. 
there, there, there are better products or alternatives out there, but for me, these work the best. Now, when I want to store my food, I, I keep dry food in a pelican case. And that's so, you know, again, it's dry food. I don't want moisture to get in there. So the seal helps keep that, that food contained and safe in here. And on top side over here, this is my little goal zero setup. This is all I really need. Um, this is the Sherpa 100. It's, it's enough to do a, a charge on a laptop if I need it. Plenty of charges on smaller devices. Um, I'm currently using my Nomad 28 Plus to get a little solar power into it. Um, and this is one of our new lanterns from Goal Zero that we're utilizing. Uh, very handy. It puts out a lot of light. You can also hand crank it if you get into trouble. Um, it works really well. We're, we're really impressed with this product. 